Well then, let's get started. Rumor has it that an army of Wither Skeletons will attack us tonight. Our solution is to construct an anti-Wither Skeleton security system for our house. We need defenses right away! Wither Skeletons are no joke! Right. That's why we're building six different security measures to protect us. Let's go! Great! What's number one? Number one is a Cactus Pufferfish defense system. Let's build it. We'll use cactus, which are plants that are covered in spikes. It hurts if you bump into one. Yep. That's why we'll use cactus, just like this, to cover the perimeter of our house. The thick layer of cactus will act as a protective barrier. Well, it's possible to pass between the cactus, and it's likely that the wither skeletons will be able to walk straight through and up to our house. That's why I'm digging a hole in the ground between the cactus and filling the hole with water to make a moat around the property. Oh! It'll be the spikiest moat ever. Nice! Wow, great plan! That's good enough, right? The Cactus Pufferfish defense system is complete. Now then, I think a giant pitfall trap will be a good choice for number two. Pitfall? In the unlikely event that any wither skeletons break through our Cactus Pufferfish defense system... Yeah? I was thinking we might want to drop them into a really big hole. Cool! Like this. Perfect. Wow! We finished with the hole. It's so deep! It's a massive pitfall trap! Whoa, sweet! Time to set up the rest of the trap. First off, we'll need lots and lots of TNT. Then we're gonna need some sand, a bit of redstone, and a few repeaters. Oh. I think it's supposed to go like this. That's good. Well? This is how we're gonna build the trap. All right, I'll finish it off with a lever right here. Sure, almost done? Almost, just a little more. Sure. Does that look all right? Hmm, okay. To make it easy to tell where the trap is, the next step is to mark off the edge of where the trap begins. Good idea! Let's mark it off with gold blocks. All finished! It's done! Now then, all of the space inside of the gold lines is the pitfall trap. So whatever happens, stay out of it. We're gonna trap every wither skeleton that walks over it. Yay! Now our second security measure is finished! Sweet! Number three, Iron Golem Security Guards. Just in case our first two security measures fail, I'd like to add another layer to our defenses. I think we should hire some bodyguards. Bodyguards are reliable. Yeah, but when I say bodyguards, I really mean iron golems. As for materials, we'll need fences, sticky pistons, redstone, repeaters, and a lever. Last but not least, we'll also need some iron blocks and pumpkins too. With all this, we can make our very own iron golem ranch. Does that sound good to you, Mikey? Cool! We can leave the iron golems here to stand by until we finish building everything. Then, if the wither skeletons manage to break through our defenses, we'll open the gates and have the iron golems to fight for us. There! Wow! Awesome! This lever opens both gates. Nice! Nice! Now we can finish the golems you prepared, Mikey. Just place the pumpkin heads on the iron blocks to create iron golems. Wow! I feel so safe! Number four, a beacon. What's the scariest thing about wither skeletons? Uh, they're really strong? Well, they're really, really strong. Wither skeletons' combat abilities are way better than most other mobs. <sighs> As for us, we don't stand a chance unless we can become stronger. That's why we need to make a beacon. Sure. Let's make our beacon out of gold this time. Oh, fancy. Uh, wait a sec, Mikey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Make it nine by nine. Okay. Now to place the beacon on the very top of the pyramid. Oh, awesome! The power is flowing through me! The last thing I need to do is insert a gold ingot into the beacon. Then I can activate our special bonuses. Wonderful! For our first power-up, let's start with regeneration. Then for the second one, let's do resistance. Let's do it! The next thing we need to think about is a shelter. Yeah! We can use obsidian as our shelter's building materials. Should we build it on top of the house? Oh, sure! Even the floor is obsidian. Cool! Number six, a massive TNT block. What? Number six will be super dangerous, so be extra careful while we build it. I will! Obviously, we'll need to prepare some TNT. For our other materials, we'll need quite a bit of white wool, red wool, and black wool. We're gonna use them to create an enormous TNT block. We'll lay it out next to the house like this. There. It needs to look like TNT. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, 
Okay. Whoa, that's big! Yep. We'll use the colored wool to construct the TNT pattern. This is probably gonna take a while. I'll help you. TNT. Whoa. Wow. Sweet. All right. Yay, we did it. Uh, not yet. The TNT isn't complete yet because... Yeah? Why? Because we haven't filled it in with TNT yet. Come on, Mikey. Let's do this thing. Let's do it. I'll help you. All right. The TNT is all filled in now. We just need to cover it. Uh, careful not to set it on fire. I'll be careful. I don't even have anything that can start fires. Perfect. Look! Wither skeletons! What? They're coming already? Looks like they brought a whole army to raid us! Whoa! You're right! It's an entire army! Oh! Oops! Pufferfish poison! Ouch. You okay, Mikey? I've been hit! We'll have to jump the gap! It worked! Yes! Jump! I made it! Do they see us? Not yet. Let's get closer to lure them in. I'm scared! Well? They still don't see us? What? They just don't care. Are they actually friendly? Is that a thing? No, hang on, we've been spotted. They're coming! Mikey, jump over the moat. It's gonna be okay. They'll never be able to get through. Whoa, what the? Oh, you gotta be kidding me right now. Wow! Uh, get away from me! Quick, get out of Some there! Some of them are breaking through. That's not good. You okay? I'm still alive. I'm fine. Whoa. Hey, uh, try to draw them into the pitfall trap. How many are there? At least a bunch of them are falling. This is bad. Here goes. There. The pitfall trap has been activated. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> this is so bad. Whoa. <laughs> there are even more now. What do we do? We use the pitfall trap. Mikey, there's no choice. It's time to release the iron golems. Let's do it. Release. Release them. Oh, let's go, iron golems. Fight. Ouch. I'm hurt. All right. Face the power of our iron golems. Whoa. Watch them go. Oh. Wait a sec. We're losing golems, Mikey. Impossible. They're too small. Are you sure? Huh? Where'd they go? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, let's retreat to the house for now, Mikey. These golems are done for. Get in. Hurry, get in here! Hang on! They're right on my tail! There are too many! You'll be okay! The beacon! I don't think I'll make it! Ah! Mikey, no! Sheesh! Oh, you barely made it! I hate to say it, but I think we're finished. The house, too? We prepared too much for this to happen! There's no choice. Even though we built all those security measures, we still got overrun by the Wither Skeleton Army. What do we have left? Our last resort. Let's go to the shelter. It's time for the last resort? The only option we have left is to detonate the massive TNT block. I'm afraid there's no other way. All right, Mikey. Are you ready to do this thing? Yeah. First, we light the flames. Flames? Then shoot our arrows through the fire. Hit the TNT. Oh, look, it's lit. Look. Huh? Will it work? Where's the boom? Huh? The flames are spreading. I think it's gonna... Whoa! There it goes! It's exploding! Whoa! Will it destroy them? I've never seen an explosion this big before! Wow! I don't want to get caught in the blast! What's going on out there? I can't see! No way! The paintings! I don't believe it! They got blown off the walls! Wow! That's crazy! Whoa! Huh? What? Hold on! It's finally over? Wow! That explosion was enormous! I want to check it out! But if we drop from this height, we could take some heavy fall damage. Yeah. Oh, we have this! Some water! Pour it in the hole, Mikey! Sure. Yes! Thanks! I'm heading down. What do you see? Wow! What happened here? Careful! Wow! Whoops! Yikes! There! What the? Huh? Wow, check it out! By hiding in our obsidian shelter, we managed to avoid any damage from the massive explosion. As for the Wither Skeletons, we successfully destroyed them all. I'd say today was a huge success. Yeah, I agree. Hmm. Phew. With that said, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Bye. See you next time. Bye-bye. All right. Take a look at this. 
Our new house is finally finished! Wow! What a nice house! And a great location! We'll have a happy life building a village here! Yeah! With this house as the start of a new village, we can live in peace! Fantastic! Hang on! What's that sound? There's an emergency news alert on the TV. Let's check it out. Ooh. It's about to start. What could it be? Let's see. Hmm? Uh, what's going on? Huh? Huh? What? This is bad, Mikey. What? A mysterious wriggle monster just attacked a village nearby. Uh-oh. And according to the reporter, that monster is headed this way next! What?! After we finished building our peaceful home?! What do we do?! Hmm... Hmm? Huh? Well, Mikey, we should have at least six hours before the Wriggle Monster reaches us. We have until then to build some security. Let's fight off the Wriggle Monster! Yeah! Let's fight it! What kind of security will we build? The Wriggle Monster is huge! Yeah! It's so big, we need to build a wall big enough to surround the entire house! Of course! Yep! Let's do it! So, let's build a gigantic wall! Let's build it! Yeah! How's this? Whoa! Look at that wall! It's massive! That's just one section! It's huge! Our walls need to be quite thick. It's thick! I think it's five, actually six blocks wide, so it's pretty solid. And it's also about ten blocks tall. At that height, it should be tall enough and thick enough. I think we have a pretty good wall. No way the Wriggle Monster can break through this wall! Hmm. It's the strongest wall ever! Yeah! Whoa! Now we have to build off what we have so far. Okay! Let's surround the house with walls. Let's do it! Do our best! The very best! <laughs> All right! Woohoo! Wow! Check it out! Whoa. It took us a while, but we did it! Yeah! The house is completely surrounded by large, sturdy walls. That took a whole hour to make! But now we should be safe and sound behind these walls, right? Nobody can get through. Well, Mikey... Hmm? Sure, but we built our perfect house together and I don't want to see anything happen to it. And since I don't want it getting smashed, just in case... Yeah? We should build some more anti-wriggle monster security. Oh... For starters, let's see here. We'll need this and that. Uh, start with these. Hmm, is that right? Yep. How's it look? What's this? Mm. What are you doing? And ta-da! <laughs> Let's build some iron golems! Of course! Iron golems are the toughest troops around! Maybe the iron golems will defeat the Wriggle Monster for us? They can take it, no problem! Yeah! Oh! Iron golems are the strongest soldiers out there! They're the ultimate security force! They'll probably beat the Wriggle Monster for us! They'll protect our walls. Amazing! There's something else I want to build. Follow me. What is it? Don't you think we have enough protection already? No, Mikey, it's not enough. We need to be ready for anything. I was thinking of using lava as a security measure. Ooh. Hmm, how about this? Good, good. Okay. That's how wide our lava defense will be. Now to fill it up. It won't make it across this much lava! Right? There's no way! Hey, hey! I doubt even the giant Wriggle Monster will be able to cut across this much lava! Nope, nope, no! Although, we can't make it across ourselves either, so we'll have to fix that! First, we'll raise this part up and then... Put a ladder here! Then, in the middle of the lava, some slime blocks! I see what you're doing! Now you can climb up here, jump on the slime blocks, and bounce across! Now we have a way to make it through! That's right! And the Wriggle Monster won't be able to cross the lava! The Wriggle Monster won't make it to the other side! It's perfect! I'll put one on this side, too! It's great! Haha! <laughs> Amazing! Yeah! So we're done? Awesome! I guess this should be enough! It's more than enough! Wriggle Monster is going down! 
Well, let's take it easy and get some sleep while we wait. Hmm. Mikey, hang on, hang on. Hmm? Why? We can't be too safe. Just in case, we need to make the ultimate weapon. Something 100% effective that works on any enemy. We still have about five hours left in the day. A weapon that's absolutely effective against any enemy? What is it? You'll see. Let's start at the back of the house. Huh? First, get a shovel ready, okay. Mikey. Okay. We'll use our shovels to dig a hole in the ground. A really deep hole. Sure. How's this? How big should we make it? It should be pretty big. Let's make it a crazy deep hole. Let's do our best. Yeah. So let's make it about this big and really deep. It might take us a while. Let's dig. We can do it. Yeah. I'm tired. <sighs> we dug it all up. But we still have two hours left. That's fine. Take a look over here. We dug a hole so deep, it drops straight into the void. But still, yeah? what would fall into a hole that they can clearly see? Don't worry, we're gonna convert this into a giant pitfall trap. To do that, we'll need TNT and sand. Yeah? And we'll use redstone dust and some repeaters. Yep. First, uh, maybe here? Sure. All right, on this layer, we'll place the TNT. Let's completely cover the hole with TNT. Okay. Just like this. Yeah. All right. Great. We covered the hole. Next, we place a layer of sand, covering the layer of TNT. Sure. Just place the sand. Cover it up with sand. That's the way. Good, good. Keep at it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's done. Layer placed. All right, the last okay. one. To finish, we'll cap it off with another layer of sand. Now to line the sides with repeaters, like this. Nice. And it becomes... The ultimate weapon! Whoa! The ultimate weapon! <laughs> then... Um... That should work. Yeah! Is that a good spot to leave it? Looks good! Good! Now to cover up all of this. Oh, perfect! Perfect! All done! Yep. We'll just leave this spot open. Okay. That should be everything. It's done! So now, when we pull the lever, all of the sand should drop away. Amazing! Then, everything standing on top of that area will fall straight into the void. Our ultimate weapon is complete. Yep. That means we've completed all of our security measures. We still have two hours left until the Wriggle Monster comes. <sighs> I'm exhausted. The monster could show up at any time. Hmm? Huh? Really? Huh? It's the Wriggle Monster! It's here? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Hang on! We gotta move! Hurry! The secret door is open. Fool! Get yourself equipped! Fool! Fool! Oh, Wriggle Monster! Fool! Oh, oh, oh. Huh? The Iron Golems are even stronger than I thought! They can win! It's no problem for them! They're beating it? Too easy! I'll give support! Piece of cake! I'll support too! We can do it! It's taking damage! Attack! The walls were so thick! Attack! Seriously? The walls oh. melt away like butter! Oh no! The Iron Golems are all down! It's coming! The lava should do it! The lava is so wide! We'll be fine! It'll try to get across! We'll be fine! There's no way it can cross! What? What? How? What now? Ah! I knew it couldn't cross the lava! I knew it! The Wriggle Monster's regenerating too fast! Can we beat it? Once it's on the sand... It's not safe for you on the sand now, Mikey! Right! Once it reaches the sand... Come to the sand! I'll activate the pitfall trap! Ah! Huh? Ah! Whoa! What? Seriously? What happened? Oh, no! Hold up, it's still alive. That was supposed to be our ultimate weapon! Uh... Huh? Uh... Huh? Um... <laughs> I guess the Wriggle Monster... The Wriggle Monster slipped? It fell?
fell off? Into the void. <laughs> Real? <laughs> well, our house may have been completely wrecked, but at least the Wriggle Monster fell into the void. Even if it slipped on its own. What a relief! We fought off the Wriggle Monster. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks! Bye bye Thanks for watching! Bye! Well then, let's get started. Once night falls, the zombie horde will arise. Our goal is to protect this house. Let's get building. What? A zombie horde? We need security measures! Let's do it! Yeah. Well, on that note, we're gonna build eight security measures to defend ourselves. Eight? Really? Yep. We need to start building. Our first security measure will be spike trips and lava. Hmm? Ta-da! Look, take this! Oh, thanks! This is a spike trap. Cool. I think we should build it a good distance away from the house. We can put them down just like this. These traps go directly on the ground. Oh! These are impressive. Yeah! That should do it. This'll keep us safe? Here's how the spike traps work. As long as you're holding onto a copy of the master key, you're gonna be fine. But if you're not... Oh, wow! See that? Out of nowhere, spikes stick into your feet! Seriously? Check it out! That's amazing! When the zombies walk across this line, they'll be absolutely helpless in our mighty trap! So strong! Now then, Mikey, our mission is to protect the whole entire house, so we'll need to surround everything with a lava-filled moat. Let's start digging! Whoa! Just like that! Great! Nice work! Now for the lava. Okay. Looking good! Hmm, perfect! Super perfect! This moat! Nothing will get through here! Yeah! Whoa! The spikes and the lava make an incredible defense! Nothing can cross lava, and the spikes will hurt way too much. The zombies don't stand a chance! Sweet! Would you look at that? This trap is really something! Awesome! Okay, now we'll make a pitfall trap! Hmm? A pitfall trap? We're gonna be using these eggs, but for now, we just need to dig a big hole in the ground. Let's do it! Got it! Let's get digging! There's lots to do. This trap is gonna be huge! Dig! Dig! Come on! Hurry! Let's make this hole as deep as we can. Just like this. Alright! Sure! Hmm. That should be deep enough. This is one deep hole. Yeah. We'll seal up the top layer with this. Uh -huh. We're covering it? Yeah, let's go. Then it's not a trap. Well, we're gonna place these eggs inside of the blocks on top. What are you talking about? Yeah, just like that. Huh? Time for the eggs. These eggs will make us the ultimate pitfall trap. Oh, thanks. Now then, yes. What are you doing? You're just covering it with snow blocks. You think so, Mikey? Drop your key for a second. Sure. Now walk over there. Ah! No! Oh. I'm stuck here! It looks like you're trapped! Can you please let me out? Number three. Let's dispose of the zombies that fall into the pitfall trap. What? Trapping zombies is the first thing we have to do, but finding a way to properly dispose of them is just as important. Yeah, but how? Here's the plan. We're gonna replace everything in here with glass blocks. How's this? Good. Now that we've installed all this glass, we can observe the zombies' behavior at any time. Whoa! Cool! Nice. That should just about do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, now then. Right. We're gonna set up some special dispensers. Special dispensers? What makes them special? You can't tell? No idea. A normal dispenser only has one hole, but this dispenser has three now holes. Now that you mention it, I think you're right. Having the extra two holes means that these special dispensers can launch their ammo at three times the speed of a regular dispenser. No way! That's incredible! All right, then. That should do it. Yeah? That's it? Mikey? Huh? Look! Awesome! You can see it better from this side. Ready? Oh, <laughs> wow! See? Each special dispenser launches three arrows at once. That's really something. Does it have infinite ammo? Yep, it can fire forever. Whoa! Unbelievable! 
Now when the zombies fall into our pitfall trap, they'll be completely exterminated. This security rocks! Security system number three, zombie disposal unit is finally complete. It's finished! Four, a secret passage. There's nothing wrong with walking through a door like this, but... Yeah, but what? Won't the zombies just follow us straight inside? You're totally right! If we enter through the front door, the zombies are definitely going to follow us inside. I think our next step should be to build a secret passage into the house. Let's do it! First things first, we should probably start building the tunnel from somewhere around here. Sure! Sweet! Hmm, let's see. If we connect it somewhere along here, we can stop by and clear out the zombies that fell in the hole. Oh, true! After clearing them out, we can continue to the house. I see. Nice. We'll put the tunnel here. Okay, let's go. Keep on digging. I can't wait to see the rest of our security measures. Oh, it connected. We're through. We can make a nice set of stairs here. There. Great. Whoa, sweet! It's done. Mm -hmm. The entrance still isn't hidden yet. I want to make a true secret entrance. Right. That looks about right. Is it? Clear it out first, and then we'll add pistons. Sure. We have to set the pistons up around here and here. I need to make sure it reaches this side. The repeaters go up here, and the redstone dust connects it all together. Just like this. Okay. All right. Now we cover it with snow blocks. Wow, that's awesome. And now for the final touch. Huh? The lever. Nice. When you pull this lever, the pistons seal off the secret passage. Whoa. Now we'll place some sand on top of the sealed pistons, and on top of that, we'll add some snow. Oh! Just like that. Now the zombies won't be able to locate our hidden entrance. It's invisible! That's how you make a secret passage. When you open it, this happens! Whoa! Cool! Guess that means our eight security measures are finished! All done! Now we just have to wait for the zombies. Let's do it! All right, looks like the night has come. Already? Wait a minute. That's a lot of zombies. Seriously? Yep. Now I'm going to draw them towards us. Let's do this thing. Huh? Are you kidding? Is this safe? I'll try and get them to notice me. Time to use our security measures. Yeah, our security measures will wipe them all out. Wow, there's so many. Whoa, they're following me. It's a zombie parade. Ouch. Uh-oh, I've been hit. You good? I'll be fine because this place is equipped with traps. Yeah, nice. Watch this. Well? Bring it on, zombies. How's it look? I have some time to eat. It worked. Oh, look at that. Wow, amazing. Hang on a sec. They're breaking through. Make them cross it again. Sure. Wait, what about the pitfall trap? Drop them down there? Whoa, more zombies just spawned. Seriously? This isn't good. But the traps are catching most of them. Mikey, stay further back. Right around here. Oh, they're falling in. It's working. That's incredible. Got him. I want more to drop in. Even more? They keep spawning. I think they're spawning faster and faster. What do we do? Uh, wait, Mikey. Try not to fall in the... <laughs> oh, Mikey. This is bad. I'm coming to save you, Mikey. Oh, no. Ugh. The zombies got you. They actually got me. I'm dead. Check out the automatic arrows. Mikey, come look at this. That's awesome. <sighs> it works. Sweet. It's working. Not for these two. Nice job. Now it's finally working. Well, Mikey, the zombies are going down, but we're getting caught in the crossfire. Will we be fine? Oh, it's hitting us. Oh, ouch. That hurts. We're definitely getting caught in the middle. Let's just exterminate the rest of the zombies. Let's do it. Punch that zombie into the arrows. I'm on it. Nice job. Now dash through while it's clear. I can make it. Yes. Almost. Ouch, that hurts. Ouchie. 
That was rough. What's the plan? Huh? Hold on a sec. Wait, when did they get here? Things are getting bad real fast. Oh, hang on. They're in. It's time to gear up. Whoa, look at that. Stay on. We made it out. Good job. Our house is completely on fire. <laughs> Our last resort was a bit much. So fiery. <laughs> yeah, this got messy. So we beat the zombies? Yep, but it looks like some of them are still trying to follow us. No big deal. All right, let's go. Today, we're visiting a resort that Mikey found. I made the reservation for us. And you'll never believe the price. It only cost a dollar. So cheap, huh? Whoa, really? Yep. For a place this beautiful? A dollar? That's right. Isn't that suspicious? It's too cheap. No way. Oh, there is one rule. Before the sun goes down, we must, absolutely, no matter what, be inside our house. Our rental? You mean that one? We have to go inside it before it gets dark? Yeah, exactly. And we have to stay inside until the sun comes up. Huh? We're not allowed out until morning? That's weird. I want to go home. What? Just because of a curfew? I went through all this trouble finding a cheap resort. Don't leave now. Seriously? Oh, man. I guess I'll stay. But what happens after sundown? Why the curfew? Hey, look over here. Yeah? Wow, cool. It's amazing. Can you really dive from up here? This resort is awesome. Yeah. It's great. I'm glad we came. Okay, I'm first. Woo! Whoa! So cool! Come on, the water's perfect. Here I go. Yay! Jump! That high dive is a lot of fun. Wow! This place is the best! I want to jump again. Yeah, me too! Ah, <sighs> campfire. So toasty. Mm -hmm. And the meat is yummy. I'm really glad we're here. Oh, Mikey, look. Hmm? We have to hurry back. The sun's almost down. But I want to relax a little longer by the fire. I'm still hungry. It's so nice being near the ocean. Uh, Mikey, aren't we cutting it a little close? Huh? Really? Um... Look! It's fine. Huh? Just a little longer. Come on. But what about the curfew? I have a bad feeling about this. Aw. Well, I guess you're right. Let's head home. Yeah, let's go. It's already dark. Hmm? Oh! Whoa! Hmm? Hold on. What? Huh? You see that? It's like there's someone standing there, right? Hmm. Who is that? Uh. Maybe another visitor? Yeah, let's go say hi. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Ow! Whoa, hey! He hit me! Wait, Mikey! Oh, JJ! Huh? Help Look me. at it, Mikey, that's a specter! No! Run! Retreat to the house! <laughs> oh! It's following us! No! Why me? Stop! Uh, JJ, hurry! Okay. Get in! <gasps> it's coming! No, I'll shut the door! I see him! Huh. Hang on. What? Uh, it's following our movements. Really? Yes! <laughs> Are you hiding? <sighs> I knew it, Mikey! Huh? This place is haunted! Just look at the specter outside! Oh! Yeah, like... Ah! He's waiting just outside the door for us, Mikey! Man! You think he can break in? Oh, hold the door! Let's keep it shut! I'm counting on you, Mikey. Keep that thing out. Got it! Yikes! Scary! This is really bad, Mikey. We're trapped! <laughs> it's morning, huh? <sighs> Where is it? Did the specter really disappear? That's good! I've been holding the door all night! I didn't sleep! Hold on! It might still be outside. Hmm? It's gone, right? Open! Wow, what a relief! Oh. Ah. Phew, that's better! You were up all night holding the door, but I was too scared to sleep! Yeah! I'm exhausted! You saved us, but... Mm -hmm. 
Our vacation is over. Yeah. The two of us are gonna secure this place and deal with that specter. Let's get him. All right, let's start with a trap. I wanna catch that awful thing. Let's do it. The main thing we noticed is that it would follow our movements around the house. Yep. That's why we're gonna put traps all around the house. That's my plan right now, at least. Good idea. See what I'm doing here? It's in front of our door. Yeah. If we dig here, mm -hmm. then we can turn the pit into a pitfall trap. Okay. Now, right here, I'll place some sticky pistons. Yeah. Well, we have the first row of pistons. And on the opposite side... Here? Yeah, good job. Just like that. Then... Dig it out, like so. Oh. Over here. Like this. What are you doing? We're hooking it all up. Oh, it connects? All the way over here. Okay. It's actually quite a simple build. This will get the specter? Hmm, these go here. Oh, I see. The repeaters extend the redstone circuit. Hello. Yeah, okay. Like that. And now, how about we put up a wall of glass? Right here. Just like that. Now I'll lower this. Then, for easy access... Okay. Yeah, I'll clear out a little more room. Oh, that's nice. How's that look? Perfect. It's just what we need. Then right here, I'll put a slime block to cancel any fall damage. And a ladder over here. Cool. You can jump down... Whoa! ...to this underground area. Awesome! Okay, now I can place the lever. When I pull it, check it out! Whoa! That's so cool! You can open and close it. The pitfall trap is almost complete. Yeah! We just need to cover up a few things. Uh-huh. Oops. That should be happening. For the trap, I'll put sand. Now it's complete. Wow. Mikey, go down and pull the lever. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, look, it worked. Whoa, it fell. Now that we have this, we'll definitely catch the specter. If we can lure it to our front door like last night, it'll fall into our trap. Yep, it's perfect. I just have one more idea. I'm putting a dispenser right here. Can you guess what I'm gonna put inside of it, Mikey? Uh, I'm not sure. Something painful? Check it out. A lava bucket. Pretty brutal. Ooh, hot stuff. I think that should do the trick. It just needs a button. Yeah! Once we trap the specter here, we can push the button and pour lava all over it. Good idea! I doubt even a specter can survive swimming in lava. I feel good about this security system, don't you? Or maybe first security system. Huh? Huh? The first one? Why would we need more if there's only one specter? We didn't sleep last night and I'm exhausted, JJ. Come on. Aw, Mikey, you sure? It's fine. Well, that's true. We didn't sleep last night. Right. Let's take a nap. Yeah. We need to rest to catch the spectre. <sighs> <sighs> huh? Oh! It's dark out. We overslept. Aw, oh, man. Wake up, Mikey. Mikey! Huh? Oh? What's wrong? The specter? Ah! Uh, Mikey, it's nighttime. We need to check outside for the specter. Oops! I fell! <laughs> okay. Let's take a look. Let's go! All right, are you ready? Three, two, one, open! It's there, in the same spot as last night. Can it see you? I'll lead it over, Mikey. Okay. Gotta get closer. Hey, you! Go. No! It's fast, but I'm okay. Ah! Go, Mikey! In! Get in! Close it! Right in its face! Nice! 
I see it. Let's drop in the pit. Okay. If it's in the right spot, it'll fall down once we pull the lever. I hope so. It should be standing right in front of our door. Care to do the honors? Really? Please do. Three, two, one. <laughs> Got it. It fell right into our trap. Let's lock it in. Yes. Wow. Got him. We caught it. <laughs> yeah. Now I'll push the button. Whoa, it's working. If the lava works, we won't have to worry about the specter anymore. We actually beat it. Yep, we won. Mm -hmm. That was easy. Totally. All right, the resort should be peaceful again. We beat the specter. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Yay. Hmm? Uh, what's wrong? Whoa! Wait. No way. Uh! No! I see them! It's not just me. It's not a hallucination. How? Uh, How is this real? Uh, the, they... It can't be! Wait, where... Ah! Man! Suddenly, we're surrounded by a swarm of specters. But are we completely trapped in here? What do we do? I thought there was only one. Uh! Is this the end for us? No, it can't be. Uh... Anything we can do? What else is there? Search the house for anything we can use. Beds, fireplace, uh, crafting table, a uh, furnace. Huh? Hmm? Hang on, I think I found something. What is it? There's a lever. Huh? Look, I'm gonna pull it. Do it. Ready? Yep. Okay, here goes. Hmm? Bummer. No, look behind you. <gasps> Whoa, huh? What is that? No way. It opened up a secret passage. It looks dangerous. I don't trust it. What if there are more specters? Hold on, Mikey. This might be our last chance to escape. Otherwise, we're doomed. I guess. There's no way we can fight them. But what's down there? I'll take my chances. Careful. I'll be okay, I promise. Uh... Let's see. Oh. Is it safe? Huh? Mushrooms. What is all of this? Oh, wow. Look, full sets of diamond armor. Can you believe it? Awesome. Whoa. Check it out. Huh? I think it's a rocket launcher. Whoa, no way. Awesome. Plus, there's a pickaxe. Oh, some bread. And ammo for the rocket launcher. I think we're ready to take on these specters. Let's get them! Yep. Wait! Stop. You can't leave through the front door. That's what they're expecting. That's true. They're out there waiting for us. We can't go this way. Is there any other way out? I don't know. Oh, hold on. Huh? I have an idea. The chimney. Oh. We can make it to the roof through the chimney. Really? Careful! Yeah. There's even a ladder in here. Huh? I'm climbing up. All right. Oh. Yeah? Come on up. Okay, here I come. Good, you made it. <laughs> Look at the crowd following me. I don't want to blow up the house, though. And here. 